I'm Ken Whiting, and this week on Paddle Tales, I'm exploring the Paint Rock River in northern Alabama. Dropping into the Tennessee River, 20 minutes from the town of Gunnersville, the Paint Rock River's beautiful green water winds its way through a stunning countryside and provides a totally different look at the Lake Gunnersville region. It also provides an ideal opportunity to test the Liquid Logic Saluda 12 recreational kayak, a boat they claim delivers comfort, performance, and all day paddling fun. I'm hoping they're right because we've got some paddling ahead of us. Paddle Tales is produced with support from NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Liquid Logic. This part of northern Alabama is known for primarily Lake Gunnersville. It's, you could say, the crown jewel of the region. But then you have arms all over and creeks that come in and rivers that come in. And there's so many different ways to explore Lake Gunnersville. And the rivers are often overlooked. The Paint Rock River is one of the most relaxed, uh, calming uh, waterways in North Alabama. There's hardly any rapids. There's current to help you out, so you're not gonna have to work for it the whole time, but there's nothing tricky or dangerous. I often tell people if they have young children or if this is their first time on the water, go to the Paint Rock. It's a great beginner, entry-level type waterway. Paint Rock Canoe and Kayak are just great hosts and outfitters. Uh, they have three different trips. You have the upper trip, which is 14 miles long. It starts way up in the valley. Their main trip starts at their outpost there on 72 and goes down to the bridge on 72. It's about a four and a half, five mile trip. And today we're doing the Highway 72 to Butler Mill trip, which is five to six miles, a little more remote, but uh, some people still do it and, and uh, still a great float. Sweet. We are here. We're at the put in for the Paint Rock River. We're only like 20 minutes from the town of Gunnersville. I'm here with Dan Truitt. He's the host of the Southern Paddler YouTube channel. And he's showing me one of his backyard runs. I'm also getting to test out a boat that I've never tried before, the Liquid Logic Saluda. So it's a day of new things for me. Oh, she's fresh. <laughs> it's not summer. I imagine this gets pretty warm in the summertime. It does, yep. But there's a... But never, too, it's just water, I mean, it, it never gets too hot. Oh, this water doesn't get that warm. No, it stays no. It stays fairly cool, yep. So even in the, actually, this would be great in the summer. It's perfect, get, especially that upper section. It's almost completely shaded. And we'll have some shade on this section too. So yeah, it's a great summer float. I've been really excited to do the paint rock with Dan because even though we haven't met before this trip, by watching his videos, I know he shares that same passion for rivers, for paddling, of course, and for exploring new waterways. What I love about paddling rivers is just the, the constant change of scenery. Uh, and I love the fact that most of the rivers around here, that while they may have some small rapids, are fairly uh, relaxed. And so I just like getting on the water, kicking back, taking in the scenery, the sights and sounds, the wildlife. Uh, there's so many waterways in North Alabama. Each little river and waterway has its own characteristic, and so it's fun to just enjoy them all and take them all in. I often tell people it's my therapy, getting out on the water. After the first mile or so, it's clear that the Paint Rock is the type of river that I love. It's got beautiful green watercolor, the overhanging trees, and even though it's early season and the buds are just popping, it's already, you can feel it coming to life and it's starting to thicken up. And the water's actually fairly high right now. It's not super high by any means, but it's high enough so that there's good 
current flowing through it. I love how it slowly works its way away from the road. You start you, very quickly, you can't hear the sounds of the road at all. And now we're in a place where all you hear is the babbling water, the, the birds, the river life. Oh, look at that. You know what I love about Alabama? What's that? Is that people are so friendly here and even the river shrubs are excited to see us. <laughs> they're waving. <laughs> they're probably excited to see you. No, Not they're me. excited to see Ken White. They're like, oh, no, they're like a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see one of them. You may be the first often. Canadian they've ever seen. <laughs> you know what? In North Alabama. <laughs> There's a good chance that I might be the first Canadian down the Paint Rock River. There's a very good chance of that. <laughs> People often think that because I'm a whitewater paddler, you know, I was a whitewater paddler for so long that I would have trouble appreciating class one or flat water waterways and rivers. But that really couldn't be further from the truth. I love exploring any type of river. There's some people that get locked in to one type of, of paddling and uh, you know maybe it's white waters and, and not to you know not to put down whitewater kayakers but you know it takes a lot of guts and a lot of bravery to face some of the the obstacles in the water that they face and so that maybe their confidence level gets up and they maybe look down on people that just like to do these Saturday and Sunday you know wreck paddle trips you know the thing is to keep an open mind it's just like anything everybody has their preferences there's a type of water for everybody if you like the fast water great if you like the slow water great if you like to fish or if you just like to you know, relax and, and, you know, take pictures, whatever. There's a, there's a type of water recreation for everybody. And so none's better than the other. They're just, there's different ways and multiple ways to enjoy the water. I mean, the idea of your YouTube channel, I've watched a bunch of the vids. You, you're exploring the rivers mm -hmm. of mostly Northern Alabama, right? Right, correct. So Dan, t tell me the story of why you started the Seven Paddler YouTube channel. Basically just to explore the rivers and waterways around Northern Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, and to just show the people in this area what's what's available. It's, it's mainly it's just day trips, you yeah. know, just to get out on a weekend and have a good time. Because I bet most people, I mean, they drive over them all the time. Right. They, But they just don't know what opportunities are they don't know this is here. Right. <laughs> they don't know that they have the opportunity to get on it and float five or six miles and enjoy it and take it in. And yeah. they may not be aware there's outfitters that provide rental and shuttle service. So yeah. so yeah, it's just, it's, you know, saying, hey, here's a way to have some good family fun on the water. Often one of the biggest challenges for exploring a river is understanding the logistics or getting a place to put in and a place to take out. and that's the joy of Paint Rock River is you have Paint Rock Canoe and Kayak. When you have outfitters like Paint Rock Canoe and Kayak, they make it so easy. You just show up, you know, you pay your fee, they'll shuttle you, they get you in and out of the water. The route is already taken care of, they, and again, they, they will keep it cleared for you. And so it's great to have these outfitters that make it so easy to get on the water and enjoy these, uh, these outdoor activities. Well, we made it, and what a beautiful river trip that was, I love river trips. And this Paint Rock River did not disappoint. I gotta say a big thanks to Dan, the Southern Paddler, check out his YouTube channel, uh, for sharing his backyard, one of his many backyard runs with me. It's, you know, it was a real pri privilege to see this. Hey, if you like this video, like always, make sure you subscribe to Paddle TV and give this video a thumbs up. And otherwise, if you're interested in seeing the full gear review of the Liquid Logic Saluda, well, stay tuned because that full gear review is coming very soon. In fact, when you're watching this, you might it might already be available. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And we'll see you again soon for another paddling trip, paddling tip, or paddling adventure. <laughs>